Bernie Sanders uh, is a socialist. Actually, uh, he spent his honeymoon in Moscow, so you really call him a communist. The Christian Broadcasting Network flipped out at the idea of helping the sick and needy. You know, just as Jesus would do. So this is going to be, of course, Pat Robertson, who's a staple on the Christian Broadcasting Network, and Gary Lane, who I guess is part of their news division. Didn't know <laughs> they had a dedicated news division. But here you have uh, these two discussing the budget reconciliation bill that is uh, Bernie Sanders led. And they are discussing the details of this bill. And as you can see, they are not happy. Gary, can you give us a few of the salient horror stories <laughs> that are embedded in this terrible budget? Well, Pat, one thing they want to do is expand Medicare. That was something that Sanders always wanted. His, his thumbprints are all over this uh, legislation, uh, proposed legislation. Universal pre-K, child care, community college, elder care. Of course, they've always talked about doing away with student loans. But when it comes to uh, Medicare, they want to lower the age. They want to expand it. Uh, to include things like eye care, dental care, so forth. And in addition to that, Pat, uh, one big thing on Sanders' list has been paid family medical leave. Now, right now, you can leave, uh, take family leave, and, and go for 12 weeks, I guess, and, and still come back to the same position that you had on the job, but it's not paid. Imagine paying people for not being productive. Uh, small businesses will not be able to afford that. You combine that with increases in the minimum wage, they'll be shutting their doors. Well, uh, it looks like Bernie Sanders uh, is a socialist. Actually, uh, he spent his honeymoon in Moscow, so you really call him a communist. But it looks like the left, the so-called squad with AOC and Bernie Sanders, are pretty much running the government right now. Am I, am I right in that? Oh, my God. <laughs> The fact that people watch this and think they're being educated, ugh, it is it is both uh, disturbing, but also can't help but laugh at just the absurdity of it all. Yeah, Bernie Sanders, a communist, the guy that is just a social democrat, looking at countries like Canada, Sweden, Norway, wanting to guarantee health care to everyone. Crazy communist Bernie Sanders. Now, <laughs> let me get to some of the, the points made here. So... Uh, first, I want to give credit here to Case Study QB who found this uh, this clip as he breaks down there some of the points they mentioned in that clip, expanding Medicare, universal pre-K, child care, elder care. I, at the very least, you think their audience would care about elder care <laughs> and, and wanting to expand elder care because that is their audience largely. But I guess they don't even they're so into their own bullshit that they don't realize that even they may be turning off some of their viewers. Or maybe I'm just so I'm so wrong that even their elderly population that watch this 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 uh this network are gonna be bothered by helping the elderly. <laughs> but considering how often people vote against their best interests, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. So it just I mean the, the before I get to anything else, I mean the obvious criticism here, the obvious commentary here is that this is the Christian broadcasting network. And they're complaining about helping people, complaining about expanding health care, complaining about helping children, complaining about helping the elderly. How can you possibly call yourself the Christian Broadcasting Network and then advocate for the opposite of what Christians, or at least Jesus, advocated for? It is so completely insane. And we have to be clear here. This is not all religious people. This is not this is not all Christians. This is just a, a certain sector of the religion that is basically just fascists that disguise themselves as Christians. But it is completely nuts to me that anybody can be Christian and then be against helping the elderly, helping children, expanding health care. I mean, you really have to assess yourself if you're in that camp. Now, let's go over some of what is in the Bernie Sanders as they were discussing there, the Bernie Sanders infrastructure or, or the, the reconciliation bill. Now, they went over some of it, but some other stuff here. So it expands the child tax benefit, uh, paid family medical leave, as I discussed, tuition-free community college, lower prescription drug costs, dental, hearing, vision, Medicare expansion, housing, home care, major, cli major climate money, immigration, 
uh, lowers Medicare age, Obamacare expansion, increasing physical supply, too many climate clean energy plans to summarize here, and new revenue, including for uh, beefed up IRS tax enforcement, which I believe is for uh, focusing on, on the wealthy, because right now the IRS basically mo largely focuses on, on the poor in the middle class, which is insane. But here, beefing up the IRS would actually allow them to then focus on uh, those that are actually stealing from the government, which, again, the wealthy. And then taxing the rich, taxing corporations, fees on polluters, Medicare negotiations. So you have here just this is this is what should be in the infrastructure, the bipartisan infrastructure bill, but it isn't because they're not going to get 60 votes on that bill with this stuff in there. So the idea here is to pass the the bipartisan infrastructure plan, which also a lot of it is just giveaway to to uh, to to corporations, but um that's why you have this piece of it. So progressives in the House have said they are not going to vote for the bipartisan infrastructure plan unless this passes this reconciliation bill with 50 votes passes first which is a great strategy so they're actually the progressive in the house are actually using their power uh banding together to ensure that they're not going to pass that infrastructure plan without this passing first so good on them for doing that and we're going to see how that goes the first step has already been done so senate approved the framework the framework for the 3.5 trillion dollar budget plan that i just showed you so this is a uh, the first step in a, in a much longer process. They're going to have to go back, iron out the details, and then, you know, vote on it again as, as a whole. And uh, we're going to see if it ends up passing. Of course, you know, Manchin and Cinema out, out there right now are are criticizing the, the size of this reconciliation plan, but they may still vote on it. So, you know, in all likelihood, it, nothing will get done, but there's still a chance because of the goodies that are in the bipartisan infrastructure bill for corporations that because they want that passed, it may actually force their hand to support this budget reconciliation bill. So we're going to see how it all plays out. But uh, just to get back to <laughs> just to get back to this, it is just comical to me that first of all, they even have a news division, but that here they are Christians criticizing, helping people. I guess I shouldn't be surprised.